Hi YouTube, this is Brandon, uh, Almar, rather say, um, I watched, uh, Carolina Jack's Pop video, I still watching that now as we speak, um, I just wanted to make a small video, a, a little story of what happened this past summer, I never even mentioned it, and when he told me, that just gave me the, um, the, it made me remember what happened. Okay, I bought a book of tickets, I would say around July sometime. And the guy said the machine was down. So what happened was, uh, he took a picture of the pack. And luckily it was close by, because I don't drive. So, lucky the, um... The store was close by, so what happened was, alright, I scratched the book, I got a decent pack, it was like, it was like two, like, 18 or something like that, in that area, like, so, I went to cash the book, in a different store, because this, this store was a little farther down. And, uh, the guy said it wasn't activated. So I called the store up. Or I went back to the store, actually, and they said that, um, a machine's still down. So they called a lottery or something. It was like, oh, they're coming out in the afternoon. So I come back, like, you know, in the evening, just to make sure they, you know, in case the lottery people were, you know, late or something. So I went back in the evening about 8 o'clock, I remember the time too, when the lottery shut off, what, um, because our pickets get off at 8, I think, yeah. Um, what happened was, uh, the guy said he never came, so I you know what, screw this shit, man. So I cut a lottery, I said, I bought a pack from the store I ain't gonna say the name of the store but I said I bought the pack from the store and the guy said the machine was down and he sold me a pack and I can't cash him because it's not activated so the, the lady said um you know I can activate it for you on the phone if I, as long as I talk to them this is the following day now I could uh, activate him over the phone, but when you buy a pack next time, do not leave the store without the pack being activated because it's a it's a lot of trouble. For New Jersey, I guess it is. Some states it's not as hard, but you know. So she activated it. She called the store up, the store answered, they activated it. I haven't went to that store back since. Nope. And I had a decent book. He gave me, he gave me, like I said, it was about 218 or two, something like that. I think it was about 218 exactly. But, you know, just remember, if you buy a pack, make sure 100% is activated. Make sure you hear that paper come out, activate it. And, or ask the cashier to make sure it's activated, you know. There's a lot of trouble. But anyways, uh, that just reminded me when Carolina Jack, uh, uh, told me that. But, um, that's nuts. Um, anyway. And I want to tell you guys something. Another thing. Today... It was three weeks since I scratched the ticket. Believe me or not. A lot of people say it's hard to believe, but it's true. It's been three weeks. It's been a long time since I scratched the ticket. Now, I'm still going to do tickets for you guys now. But I'm slowing down. You know what they say? If you have a gallon problem, it takes one ticket to screw it again. Like to start over again. 
So like say, okay, I'm not scratching now. Say if I got, just say I got $200, like in my pocket, right? I scratch one ticket. If I have a bad gown problem, your $200 will wait. It'd be gone because you you're thinking in your head I'm gonna win more I'm gonna win more I'm gonna win more but you're not so that's what I said I told myself you know what I'm not even gonna buy one ticket that's why you haven't seen tickets on the video actually <clears throat> the tickets that you just uh, saw there um I downloaded that um on my live stream and I uh, speed it up that's why there's a uh, it's like I'm a chick monk I sound like I, I did a half a pack in the summer on live stream and I did a uh, a full pack like in the spring of last year so I downloaded those two it took about an hour to do that and uh, I uploaded it it's not many views as I thought it was I thought there would be a lot of views, but it's all right. I'll post them in the description if y'all know what I'm talking about. But you know, anyways, it's like it's crazy. Like I think the longest I ever went without scratching ticket about a week. They say to yourself, "Well, um, honestly, what I should do." Is whatever I scratch, I put on camera, wonders or not, make it reality. Now, since YouTube's not paying after February 20th, it's like it's not even worth it. But, I'm gonna still do it because I don't mind. Like, you know, I didn't get paid much anyway. Like I said, I only got $52.75 in my account. It's like, and that's been since I started monetizing. And I started monetizing, I will say, maybe two years ago. About, yeah, about two years ago, I would say. I started monetizing. So, yeah. If you guys can do, give me a, um, I just, let's just look through my videos, watch an ad, and I get paid for that. Like, I'm not asking for much. Just watch a five second ad and watch my videos. You know, so I could get that, you know, that earnings, like, I don't know, like, you know, because I got over 400 videos, over 400, and, you know, being that I can't watch video, I mean, I won't keep getting paid after February, you know, just, you can do that, uh, that would be very appreciated because I don't know what the CPM is or whatever that's called. <clears throat> you make so much per thousand views. I think it's like, um, I forgot what it's called, but I might be right, CPM or something. But yeah, uh, if you could do that, that'd be great. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.